Get this. Official weight, 129 pounds. Since capturing an Olympic silver medal, his professional record now stands at 25 victories, including 18 knockouts with only one defeat. From Houston, Texas, the challenger, Ricardo Rocky. Thomas y Caballeros de Ciudad de Mexico, the four-time world champion, the reigning, defending WBC super featherweight champion of the world, the baby face assassin, Marco Antonio. Be saved by the yeah. And now, for the thousands in attendance here at Staples Center, and for the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Staples California, Marco Antonio of the Mexican fight as well in the end, but he's been in against of last year. He beat him, so he's probably into the lobbying circuit. Like the chin, I don't know how you could say that. He only has four losses in 61 fights and, and two of them. Well, One's a disqualification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll use all of his powers to uh, keep this guy in the fight now where he's got that slit and that right eyelid this early. And again, that's all off the jab of uh, Barrera. Whereas then he dictates when he wants to go in. Do that properly. Do it. Do whatever you do properly. That's right. And great advice too, because you can't be split. Look at this now. And Juarez is scoring some shots on the inside. And now look at this. Barrera spins him and lets him win with the right hand lead that time. Twenty to six in favor of Barrera. Now, Rocky Juarez. Barrera. All right, here we go. Round three. Barrera in blue. Juarez in the multicolored trunks. Third man in the ring. Raul Caiz Senior. Still is California. He's going to be in this from the time he's trying to force the balloons. He's going to turn it up and I don't some bang. And he's hitting him with better shots. He saw a situation where he said it won them. Oh, that's a left hand. The power shot catches the jab. And now he fights back. Look at this. He muscles it up after he's nailed with a left hand power shot. Rocky gets the last left. Terrific left hook. Driving Barrera back. And you don't see Marco Antonio hit like this. Very often, you don't Hello. see uh, And right after that, Barrera showed his grit coming right back. Let's see if that punch was strong enough to cause Barrera any leg problems here in the early going of the fourth round. That's really all he did in landing some body shots, his hands coming down low, land more shots. And look at this, Barrera picks up the pace then. The effect of that shot at the end of the last round for Rocky Juarez was to the punch moment at the time, but in, in a lot of ways, uh, in the numbers, so we've got excitement now. All right, here we go. This is round five at the Staples Center. Mark around on. Juarez had a little slip and it, it throws his hook as a half on stronger than Juarez. Juarez is showing great patience and jab more, but the jab only sets up with the move. He can be subtle with it. Yes, he's still catching him with a few left hooks, but that was some nice work by Barrera. Even if he's fighting. Here comes the bell to end the round. So Juarez had a little slit in his right eye way back in the first round and in the fifth and that's from the left hook. Juarez is not winning any rounds. It's starting to close up. So his right hand is getting through. So sure. Hey, let's tell the judges to go home. That way he wins this fight. He just gives a great shape. Yeah. I believe it's happy it did in a whole fight against Barrera. I don't think he's cutting the cheek. But again, Barrera's out boxing him. You know, Juarez is trying to do his best he can. Look at Barrera. Look at this. Now we got a pair of six here. They stand toe to toe, and Dave, you're so right. Just when you think this guy's going napping, he sucks it up and he gets tough. He's no, you're not gonna move me. And he, and the guy, look at this. He is in the ring at the star is his right side. With the overhand right hand, not landing, but he's looking to land the left hook. And look at he turns it up and out. 
And Juarez looked a little staggery at the bell there at the end of round. Look at the two. Juarez looks the fresher of the two. He's got a little puffiness, but he's had that since the get go in the first round when those jabs of Barrera were in his face. And now Barrera's left eye is, is swelling as uh, boxing. And Juarez showing me the thing he can land. His powerful left. Stories are live at this point. Yes, they are. With almost two minutes gone and trying just out boxing while Remy's mouthpiece is down. Let's see who that is. Look at these guys. Well, the crowd gets in. Looks like that's Barrera's mouthpiece that came out. Time has been called. Juarez chasing just a little break from Tennessee. to set him up as a try to land the powerful left hand. But Barrera just turns it up another knock. Look at the Brocky comes forward. Barrera turns it up a notch. That's the bell to end the seventh round. Age 32 with your legs. Uh, you know, I, I can't see that at age 32 he's, he's showing any signs of, of uh, anything but plenty of life in him. Because Juarez, yeah, he's had uh, a lot of this display of heart. We looked a lot closer sometimes than it really is. Great job, Brian. This is the ninth round, so there's four rounds. Of... And he's fought the grit that he's had that we kind of want to give him, at least on, on, on my score sheet. And I think he's doing enough. Every time that you think he's about to has an advantage in the power department. 58 to 56. Yeah, yeah. so that's, uh, that's interesting. But the problem is... Uh, at all. And uh, Rock... You heard Dave's uh, argument, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I couldn't say, oh, nice uppercut on the inside. Since the get-go, he said if he's going to win, it's going to be the... Terrific fight. Yeah. And more as I came... Into another dimension fight. Look at the body shots here by Prince now. It's not bothering him now. He is through the Barrera jab. Yeah, he is, and here he comes with some power shots. Goes downstairs. Oh, he's good. I think he might have been hurt by a right hand there. Hands up on the Closing seconds of Barrera's won, uh, rather, has won this round. Look at this. He stands and mixes with him. And turns into a shot. Look at him walking through the would-be jab of Marco Antonio Barrera. Watch the uppercut and then the right hand here, David. Here's the Warriors uppercut. Terrific uppercut there. And then through 8, 9, and 10. And Dave gave him an earlier round as well. I've given two of those three rounds. And very well for the gift fight could be a lot closer in the judges' score. Dave is right. If Rocky can win. Keep it to it in terms of the numbers. Dave, you pointed out that he's coming through the jab now yeah. of uh, Barrera. I think the fatigue factor of Barrera right hand, Rocky. Very strong. Barrera trying to force the fight a little bit. This is just pure guts on both fighters' part. There's a digging for it. One by Barrera, three by Rocky Wallace. Caught him with a pretty good left hook that time. Landed it didn't have the same power. But both guys are fighting in the same ring. So Barrera had a tendency to want to hang on. Look at this. Right hand, uppercut on the inside. Barrera pushes him off. Left hand that I was telling you. When he dips his left uh, shoulder down, that he's open for the left hook. If he throws that left hook again, he's wide open. But look at Juarez landing shot. Offensive bomb. This look is at this great. Guy. Look at this guy battle back. That's the blood, but I think that's from the nose of uh, Barrera. And oh, that nose has been bleeding. A little slit in the eye back in the crowd. Juarez was slit in the eye. Here he comes back trying to land a power shot. Juarez looks like he might be able to do something to this guy. Taking shots right now. Rocky needs to step back, get some room. You would think Rocky would want is on the inside. Look at Barrera, how tough he is. And oh man, he loads up the right hand. Up hand power shot. I think Juarez has won this round with power shot. And look at this. It's a pier six into the bell. To end the 11th round. Here comes the bell. Wow, how about that? You talk about it. Juarez loading up. Barrera loading up. These guys are just throwing textbook everything. The left hooks to the last four rounds. A nice score sheet, he needs a knockout. A knockdown would give him a win on your show. He needs a knockdown or a knockout to win the fight. He's shaking during the course of the fight. The power shots are here in the closing portion of this fight. Oh! That's what Rocky needs to do. It might have Guerrero crowd this was. Fight started. Yes, it was. Lancing right hand across the jaw. Perez's eyes look clear, although they're puffy. Although a lot of the blood, individual careers, battling for world title. Hope that they would find out that the Barrera got old. They didn't get that. And yet, it's still a terrific time that Juarez really, with very few exceptions, is fun. Some of that street stuff. Whereas out boxing Rocky and then. Well, the, a big story went to the early dominance by 
Marco Antonio Barrera believed that the tide turned. However, more that being said, this was Barrera's round for Michael. It's not over yet. There it is now. Now it's over. All right, it's the close. show up a little bit better on your screen. Uh, Barrera has uh, Barrera on the front of his trunks and Juarez has Juarez in the back of his trunk so you should be happy that's on the back of uh, Barrera's trunk. Round number one scheduled for 12. It's a rocky rocky going up yet. Juarez's people have this yeah. Although yeah. We, we know he's always in great shape. Most of the start faster is not starting faster in my opinion. Minute of the fight. Barrera's trapped that Juarez can't. Barrera answers with a couple of jabs of his own tries to position. Juarez right in front of him, not moving, and Barrera takes that as an inch, gets his angle, slides, bends at the trunk. This is shots, but nothing lands. Barrera's landing his less than a minute to go in the first round. And Juarez uh, said that he had to open fast and box uh, fast from the get-go, but he's not in the first round for him. Because he's been able to stay outside, jab, move, than what he just had. Juarez tries to reach for him. He has frustration and misses. I mean, Jim Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Rocky Juarez facing you. Now to the right of your screen, to the left of your screen. The featherweight champion of the world. Uh, got the decision after it was announced to draw. Guerrero on the jab. Reach a Rocky. Now Rocky tries to come in and now. Hands get tied up, then he broke it. Oh, there he is with the jab. Circle. Off to the sides, is moving on angles. Campbell in subsequent boom. Maybe the beginning of the next round. Here we go. Round number three, scheduled for 12. Marco Antonio Barrera to the left of your screen. Rocky Juarez now to the left of your screen. Just which way he's going to go and commit yourself that way and go after him. Barrera from just taking rounds by out jab again. Rocky, yeah. yeah, go ahead, Dave. Body shots just a little bit. I mean, you're talking about a fighter. Secondary way to attack. Him off pretty good. No, they're not landing. There's Rocky with him up against the ropes with the ropes now. Rocky gives ground. So Rocky. So there's Barrera now short with his right hand. Round, there's only a few seconds left to go. And the bell ends round. And you said that from the get take more chances. Stairs and I said they didn't score, but he, he said at least he's doing something different. Hey, jabs make him react and then get inside, and take that chance. But in this round offensively, he lands one. But Warriors has been fighting in closer quarters in this round. Now Rocky beat him with a punch in that combination. Well, on my score sheet, that's. This is round number five. Marco Antonio Barrera, his best round of the fight in the fourth round, although this is very differently than he did react to Juarez, and he's not what he would have to do in order to win this and winning and losing this fight. He sort of gave away those. Trying to draw Barrera to him to cut with the right hand. We've been waiting to see who would land the first good shot. Now Juarez with an uppercut. Well, he does. Barrera trying to put an explanation point on, on whether or not he's going to win this round. That's a tough round to score. Very, yes, very is. close round. And then Rocky Juarez on the inside. Good up for that round. There's Barrera going to the body. He is more urgent like he was in that replay. All right, here we go to round six. This is scheduled for 12, and the way it's going. Barrera, the opportunity to win two hooks. So Rocky on the assault on the inside gets him up against the ropes. Now Barrera battles back. These guys are punches. And she just let Barrera has done that a little bit more than by Barrera that are good. A sneaky right hand lead. Rocky comes back. This he needs to fire body punches. Catch. He plants it comes. And if Mark was I have Barrera slightly out in front, but that's the way I had the last fight. And uh, in a little better position. Maybe being down only two points. 
come with the right hand and every once in a while. And in these angles are posing a problem. If he volunteered to stay in front, guys are going to give him a problem because he has to overreach this advantage. As Barrera has wanted to mix it up on a key, but I thought Barrera won the round. This is tough. Whatsoever round, and it's the seesaw continues. Arrow with his combination. Juarez comes in, leading him off with a jab. Rocky comes in, and I just see Barrera just piling up beats here now. Here's now, the story of the f Barrera jabs, Dave. Yeah, out in the outside. Oh, Bob Sheridan with me, Dave Buntempo. If you're watching uh, Belmonte's Barrera in this fight, number one. Differences between fights. Uh, he's just a very, very good fighter, and his front is in a number of rounds. Fight. And Barrera, fight. he's trying to push the fight, Dave. You know, I mean, here's an example of it here. This is a pretty good flurry. Puffiness around his right eye. Although he's going to have trouble seeing a lot now. Here comes the bell to end round number nine. All right, here we go. This is the tenth round of a scheduled 12 round world title fight. At 130 pounds, Marco Antonio Barrera so far in my opinion. You know, Barrera has just done a such a terrific. We talked earlier being about adjustments. Barrera, who took his biggest up in class to fight to believe in what he eventually won the last. And Dave Moretti of uh, the Nevada Commission and Hugh. Like he could lose in some parts in the I mean, you talk about ring generalship. He tried to chase him around at times. He tried to side out of frustration, belt in the body. Tries to catch him in here. He'd love to. Nassim Hamed felt, but you know, just totally outboxed in that fight. Really great aspects of, and yet in recent years, to my way of thinking tonight, the close of Rocky Juarez. Well, of course, if Barrera. All right, here we go. This is the 11th round of the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's day weekend, and the Mexicans have amassed. They love to come on a fight weekend, which this has turned out to be. Good crowd here at the MGM Grand turning out. Of course, she now, Dave uh, Juarez, would need a knockout to win. Thing over Juarez, who's been out jabbed by show the entire. Fight. Then, then joking like, hey, what? A, you know, you want to fight or what? It? He's a guy that smile at you and then whip you. Uh, Rayon Tavares has been since the beginning. You know he's well trained for this fight. He fought the guy once. You should know how to fight him, but. I mean, they ever come out fast in the beat. Made him very live at the end of the fight. Barrera improved. Yeah. There were angles. And uh, yeah, a little uh, unnerved by the fact that Juarez made the first fight so close. And so he stuck with a better game plan. Go, round number 12. We talked about it in the 12th round. Barrera doesn't have a mark on him. No nicks, not right hand behind it. He's been able to pump them with stiff jabs throughout the course of the fight. There's a time to be desperate it's in the 12th round, but look at the movement of. Uh, together, yeah. he was. Uh, Barrera is like a trick. There's a lot of fight left in my going to be over your peak, but you can be very close to it. And then I can answer of energy, which may be the case in this fight. Barrera just showed his masterful boxing skills. And made this fight simple, which is what trainers always tell fighters. It's been a boxing match. There were no knockdowns in the fight. None of those real ones. To the judges' scorecards, ahead, Hubert Minton scores it a 117 to 111. Chuck Jampa so, and Dave Moretti have it 115 to 113. All three to the winner by unanimous decision and still WBC Super featherweight Champion of the World. The baby face assassin, Marco, Marco Antonio, Antonio, Antonio. 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 Antonio.